13 mushrooms, so in case you might have noticed a few times, there's a little bronze crown on my head. Is that yeah, uh, it's very hard to see because it blends in with Sora's hair. I will. Admit. I can barely see that. Uh, yes, it's because I stop moving his... around so I can see. You'll see it when I complete the matches. You can't see these fucking lights everywhere. <laughs> Your ass handed to do. They're just swinging me around, Josie Do. I hate Where dancers. Are they? For that. They're dancer nobodies. I hate them. See, look. If you look carefully. Oh wow. You could have made that like I don't know every other color of the color spectrum. It's because the crown changes depending on uh, doing the other stipulations that were added in for final mix. For example, if I were to do the next uh, new added challenge, then it would give me a silver crown. And then if I did the last one, then it would give me a gold crown. Mm. Gold crown's more noticeable, believe me. Well, no, so I'll assume so. But as a result, since this is after the 13 mushrooms, I have the winner's proof keyblade that was added in for this game on final form. Most powerful keyblade for magic gives you EXP zero. Well, but it, that, that doesn't really matter yeah. to me at this point. That, that's why I always put it on uh, Final Form, because then I can keep the Ultimate Keyblade with MP Haste on. What the hell did you even fight? What, do you, what did you even fight? I have zero uh, idea what you just fought. Uh, sorcerer Nobodies. Um, depending on, actually, those are actually the first time um, I've actually fought those Nobodies, because I skipped out on the world that never was. So let's do a bio on them right now. Hmm. Sorcerer Nobodies. They appear in the world that never was. Uh, after that, they're going to briefly appear inside of Traverse Town. Sorcerer Nobodies drop Twilight Crystals, and the rare occasions drop a Serenity Crystal. They are actually the last type of Nobody in the game that we have not seen. So with that, we have seen every type of Nobody. Well then. I've been doing that for every single Heartless and Nobody that is in this game. That sounds fancy. Yeah, it, it, it took a while to actually make the list. And I had to write very small so then it only fit on two pages. <laughs> Why'd you make it so it only fit on two pages? Because I don't. Because I wrote it in my notebook that oh, I used for college. Oh, you wrote it down. Never mind. Yes, I wrote it down oh, okay. for, in my notebook for college. I don't write things down anymore. Anything I, I use for like let's plays or anything like that, I just write down like on Hotmail. Like for my uh, entirety of the Zero's Rest scripting, it was just in a folder on my Hotmail. Or Wait, the really? um, OneDrive, I should clarify. That's right, you don't have, um... Why don't you use Google Docs? I don't know. It's use free. One, uh, OneDrive's free! True. <laughs> They're both free! It's just I have everything... I have more things on OneDrive. Now, more or less. I'm gonna say this right now. This fight reminds me a lot of the, um... The King Hearts 2 fight in the canyon. That's what it's uh, based off. These are all the rapid thrusters that are around here. Uh, sorry, for this one... Rapid thrusters? Yes, their name is Rapid Thrusters, unfortunately. That's okay. I feel unfortunate for the individual who spawned all these and thought of the name. Hey, let's call this thing a Rapid Thruster. They're not going to get picked on in kindergarten. Well, these things are the Goombas of this game. These show up more than Shadows. Really? What are Shadows? Yes. Shadows are the base, the small little pure black Heartless that are like the first thing you see in Kingdom Hearts 1. Oh, I didn't know they had a name. I, was called, I thought they were just called Heartless. Nope, uh, all Heartless have their own names. There's a difference, though, between Pure Bloods and Emblems. I'm sorry, Pure Bloods? Uh, pure Bloods are the all black ones with yellow eyes, and they don't have the little emblem on them. They're, they're the naturally occurring. What do the emblems mean? Uh, the emblems were made by the main villain of the first game. Like, to brand them as they are the ones he artificially made. This is my brand. No stealing. I see he read many Sonic fanfics <laughs> and realized about original characters. <laughs> he knows the ironclad rule of do not steal. Cold steal the Heartless, do not steal. It's because these Heartless were made in machine. Yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. Everything makes, like, perfect sense. Yeah, it, it's a machine that's inside Hollow Bastion that it brands them on them. That's why. So for that round, that's one of the rounds in which you actually have to... Since there's a time limit for how long it is for beating it, you actually have to kill all the Heartless. What the hell uh, they're floating around if you block them. Right now, what I'm what doing What are they is doing? Hitting, oh, okay. I'm hitting with their own weapon. Now, give me your weapon again. Now, be drawn to it magnetically. And, oh, I messed it, it up. It looked like you were just sweeping up, sweeping them up. Like, okay, come on, let's go sweep up the trash. Yep, these are the Berserker Nobodies. They're, uh, they're the ones that drop the, uh, dents crystals. I hate Berserkers because they can have invincibility frames like crazy. Really? Yes, that's why I hate them. I also hate these ones that are on the ground right here. Assassins, because they have probably the most invincibility frames out of any nobody. 
you have to block to hit them out of the ground in the first place or hit them when they stand up. And if they lose too much health, what they'll do is they'll go up and they'll try to kamikaze you. Huh. Like that one just tried right now, but failed miserably because I was in the middle of a combo. You died for nothing! <laughs> <laughs> and now we got dragoons. It's always weird for me to hear people talk about, like, invincibility frames and different, like, frame inputs and such in, like, a single-player game. I don't know well, why. I know, like, it's there, and, like, there are many points where I do this for, like, other Sonic games, but whenever I hear people talk, like, Kingdom Hearts about it, I don't know, it feels, like, weird to me. It's... I more talk about this because you need to know a certain invincibility frame. Kingdom Hearts 2 has the most invincibility frames. Yeah. You you have the most invincibility frames out of any time in this entire series. Yeah. And you're going to need that for some of the bosses because, oh my god, some of the bosses in this game are bullshit. I'm looking at you, Lingering Will. Took me seven years to beat you. Because <laughs> the thing is, like, invincibility frames, I always think of fighting games, really. Well, that's pretty much... That's, that's pretty much the same thing that I'm talking about. Yeah, I know. It's just weird to hear, to hear like, being talked about in a single-player game. Um, think about it more instead, uh, Soul Calibur, for that. Like, 3D environment. Because, I mean, that's that's pretty much what I'm in. I'm in a 3D environment, only I'm doing anime shit. It's just like a 3D anime. No, I know a better comparison. Uh, Devil May Cry. Yeah. Only I'm at 30 frames per second. I haven't played Devil May Cry. Uh, I, I may pick up the remastered edition of 4. Part of me wants to play the remake, but I don't really care for the story. I honestly just recommend starting with 1. I know uh, Alfredo has the HD remake. He does. He probably lost it, though. I don't know if he still has or even knows it where it is. But I don't know how, how many times he actually goes back to his own house. Good point. But yeah, pretty much, uh, I recommend Devil May Cry 1, skip 2. And go to three. I can just skip to three. I like the Dante in that game. No, is it three? I'm thinking of four. I want to go to three. Four. Let's go to four. Four is uh, Nero, and then Dante is in that game. Nah, later later. it's half Nero, half Dante. It's like you get, a, it's like you get one half of a game, and then you get the DLC that plays a different character, and then you play the game again, but backwards. It's like you're playing mirror mode. Pretty much. And, and now for round forty, we're going against Leon. And Cloud! Who just fought you? Go away, you had your turn. And meanwhile, Leon just decides, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off in my ultimate powered form, so my blade is larger than two of me. Your name's Squall. Uh, yeah, but in the Kingdom Hearts series, uh, they just call him Leon. Why? Is his name actually Leon? No, his name is Squall of uh, Lionheart. So why do they call him like, Leon? Um. I don't know. There's a lot of things that. Uh, is it like they're trying to make a cool name based off his last name? It's like, I don't. Squall's a stupid name. I'm gonna call well, you. Can, um, let's call you Leon instead. That's a cool uh, name. Le Leon's a thing from Final Fantasy VIII. Okay. Is the thing. Is he the same it's, person? It's yeah. Th these are all the same people. It's taking the characters from the Final Fantasy series, but then some of their character interactions don't make sense because they haven't gone through the plot points inside that one that would make it. For example. Cloud should not be broody, because Aerith is alive. Oh yeah, she's still she's alive. She didn't like get stabbed and Cloud drowned her. <laughs> You've seen that game theory? I'm not even a game theory. I just watched it like she's <laughs> you, know, you she's drowned her. You, it's even no, it's even worse. What? He let water like just pour into the wound. Yeah, that's that actually, the worst bit. If the drown yeah. didn't get her, that would have got her. Maybe that's why he's broody. He probably. Maybe that's why he's brooding next like, to no one know what I've done. I mean, no, he realized he fucked up. <laughs> he just walked away. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> well, no, we already went all shit because I lost my healer. Oh, yeah, true, you did. All right, but now we're into the final stretch for it, and we have to deal with Halloween. toy soldiers. Uh, toy soldiers and graveyards. Notice how the toy soldiers were um, not doing anything because they knew I was using reflect. It's like, so, yeah, yeah, we may be toys, but I'm pretty sure we're smarter than that. So they know. What they don't know is that I have limit form. That's the difference between um, the Hades Cup for this game and the original. Why are you dressed as Kingdom Hearts 1 now? Uh, this is limit form added in for Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. This is a unique form that was added in. What's the difference? Uh, limit form gives you a lot of the commands that were inside Kingdom Hearts 1 and abilities. 
So you have things like Ars Arcanum, Ragnarok, and Sonic Blade. Um, you also have Strike Raid back. Uh, you have it also adds back in the Dodge Roll ability to the game because it was taken out for Kingdom Hearts 2. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? We have to have a special form the Dodge. Dodge Roll. Is there a better difference? What's the Kingdom Hearts 2 equivalent? Uh, that's the Quick Step is what was added in. But a lot of people didn't like Quick Step and a lot of people did not use uh, the form. So they added this one in for Final Mix. And personally, I use uh, Dodge Roll perfectly. Because when you have fully leveled up Dodge Roll, you have so many frames where you're invincible when you use it. I'm pretty sure, yeah, the Dodge Roll, like I've seen, does a lot of... Gives you a lot of invincibility time. That's why I love it so much, and that's why I'm glad they added it in for it. And the fact that you're in, like, the Kingdom Hearts 1 attire, I think that's, like, a nice touch. Yeah, even though it kind of looks really weird to me. It, it looks a bit odd because it's the Kingdom Hearts 1 color scheme with all those zippers. It's like a Smash it's like a Smash 4 alt skin. More or less. This is it! The shoes are the same, the pants are the same, the shirt's the same, it's just a different alt, like, skin of color. Now, Limit Form actually has an interesting ability that I love. Um... If you're using the limit commands, like, I tend to use uh, Sonic Blade a lot because Sonic Blade I can spam the most, and I have, I'm completely invincible in that one more so than other ones like Ars Arcanum. That sounds cool, too. Well, the thing about Sonic Blade that's really good is every time you land a hit, and this applies to any of the special moves, you regain health because of a special ability that Limit Form has. Ah. Interesting. It's... In fact, that's actually very vital and pretty much needed for one of the uh, new hidden bosses in this game. What's the new hidden boss? Uh, the data battles. Uh, one of the data battles that you have to do, uh, you're going to constantly be losing health. And unless you, you're going to run out of uh, potions, elixirs, or anything long before you uh, start running out of limit form. Because limit form is pretty much needed for that battle. Yeah. I'll get more into that later because um, I do need to... Uh, still do the commentary for those ones. If you would want, you can join on those and see how anime bullshit gets even more bullshit. Uh, sure. All right, so look forward for the Afro Battle of joining on for data battles. More guest stars! Yay! All right, but pretty much right here, I hate these Heartless right here, the Living Bones. I hate them because... They're, they're... a bitch to fight. Yes. Because I've noticed you were getting kind of batted around by all three of them. I hate them. And... Oh, boy! Ooh, it's like memories flooding back. A uh, thousand heartless battle? Yeah. That is the best part of this game. It's one of the most iconic parts, I will admit. I like that battle. Very disappointed when I went back and go do it again. It's like mm. that's why I always that's why I put a save right before it, just so then I can redo it. Uh, I always do a challenge for myself whenever I do it. Uh, how many heartless do I kill before I cheap out and use the surveillance robot laser? So th that's that's just a fun battle to do in general. Yeah. It's actually very hard if you don't use reaction commands. Really? Like, yes, it's very hard. I think I've only done it twice in which I've done this without reaction commands, and I almost died three times. Huh? It's very difficult. We need more fights but, like these in games. Yeah, we do. It's like single player fights, and I know we're just here's a bunch of weak people just wreck their face in however way you want. This is pretty much Dynasty Warriors, right? Yeah. Here, is what this is. Now, for this one, you don't have to kill them all. You just have to basically, you know, survive. Because I was worried. I was. I thought it was one that you had to kill. So I was very tense because I'm in the 40s right now. It's like, three, two, one. Help! You lost, nerd. Do it all again. All right. So this round, they decided to put the three most annoying Heartless in the game after me. The Devastators and the fucking Hot Rods. <laughs> I'm sorry. The car just sucker punched you. I'm not going to not laugh at that. I don't blame you. I hate Hot Rods because after they lose enough health, they just ran they go, you. They go into an invincibility frame mode to where it's just annoying. So what I'm doing is killing them. Meanwhile, the Devastators over there, they have a lot of invincibility frames too. And the best part is, in the new Super Dungeon added in this game, those little fucks got a new variation. What do they get? What do they get? What do they get? You'll see inside the video for it. Ah, oh, you little tease. Which may or may not be coming after this one. Uh, I need to think of when I'm going to release that one because I'm doing a lot of side stuff right now while I'm in the last world because, like, I want... People might be confused as to why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it. The reason is because I want to have it that the project ends with a credit sequence. And the thing is, there are things that are after the credit sequence. 
that are unlocked only once you beat the game once. Yeah. W w one of the cases being this one. The other one being actually uh, one of the data the data battle against Zemnus. You have to beat the game in order to unlock that. Mm. Which, that data battle is bullshit. I was very tempted to actually put in the, um, like, edit in the data battle as being the actual battle I end up showing in the video, but I decided not to. Mainly because I want to see, I want people to see how easy Final Zemnis is, and then see how bullshit his goddamn data battle is. Fuck his data battle. <laughs> Either way, though, we're dealing with these riders, so I'm just deciding to wail on them. There we go. And I'm not done yet because Morning Stars. Yeah. Oh shit. What? Crescendos. What? You ever have you ever love those enemies that can not only heal the enemies around, but can summon more enemies as well? Wow. I was gonna make a comparison, but I completely lost it, but it was like a it's like uh, I can't analyze it lost. I'll get back to it later. These things are annoying, so it's at this point I'm going, okay, guess what? You're dying. You're all dying now. <laughs> I can deal with the Morning Stars. And meanwhile, they're not only summoning more Heartless, they're summoning more Crescendos. Which is stupid. And at this point, I'm going, okay, I need to start using my potions. I'm starting to get tense here. Because these stupid things are just dogpiling on me. So I'm going, die, 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 die. Are you trying to think of that thing? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell so far, because you're... I've got three things. I got a pregnant woman playing inspirational music. I got a rabbit just tooting out the American anthem. And that is it. One of those kind What of are you looking up? I'm not looking up anything. I'm thinking up things. I'm not looking up a pregnant lady singing up anthems. Why is a pregnant lady in your head for that? I'm trying to think of something that spawns people and also is inspirational. Pregnant lady poop out babies. They don't. <laughs> um, That's how right. things work in the world, Eric. I guess. Either way, though, meet the entire reason why this goes to 50 minutes still. This guy? The Cerberus, yes. Cerberus in this game is annoying. The reason is... He turns around constantly and jumps. That's the whole reason. That's all dogs do. See, look, he already turns around. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get you. God damn it, I'm back over here again. He's just a time waster. Does he do anything? No, this is his attacks. He just bites, shockwave, jumps, and turns his butt to you so you can get to know him better. That's what yes. he's trying to do. He's just trying to get you, have him get, uh, get to know him better. Well, I don't care. I need him to die because I need to get to the other round. This is why Eric's not a dog person. Yes, yeah, this is why I'm a cat <laughs> person. And honestly, this he just has way too much health for his own goddamn yeah, good. He does, really, actually. How many is that? Like, one, two, three, a lot? Ten? Over ten? Yeah, I think it's twelve. Mm. That's still not as much as the lingering will. I don't know what that is. Super boss added into this game. He has like 20. Oh, wait. It's just the, um, the living armor, isn't it? Yes. That's the one that took me seven years to beat him. Oh. Whoa. I have no shame in saying <laughs> that because I will admit, over these seven years, I've been a dipshit. I've been a foolish, foolish boy. Yes, because I didn't realize the power of broken fire spell. God, that spell broke in this game. So, Eric, question. Two yes. questions, actually. Um, one, what would be your fa what would you consider your favorite world in this game? If you uh, haven't Kingdom said Hearts, it right. Kingdom Hearts 2? Uh, yes, this is the game. Um, in terms of story, I like Halloween Town because I've always been like a huge fan of Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, Stop. In, ter it, it, in terms of gameplay and everything, Radiant Garden, otherwise known as Hollow Yeah. Because it's got that thousand heartless fight, it's got a lot of battles to deal with, and it's got the new super dungeon as well as the data battles. Super dungeon? That's what I call it. I'm avoiding its name until I officially go there. Oh, uh, okay. That's why I'm calling it. And it technically is a super dungeon because the heartless there are some of the most powerful ones in the game. Is that where you get the hook shot? Uh, no, I don't need a hook shot when I can glide. Mm. And high jump. Well, who needs gliding when you have double hook shot? 
Mean double claw shot, God. I'm sorry. You played Twilight Prince. I did. All right, so Surfers is almost dead finally. Oh yeah, my next question before you complete this Kirby. What would you consider the, your favorite boss in this game to fight? Favorite boss in this game to fight? Um, that's a good question actually. Uh, um, meanwhile, we got to deal with four that are annoying. Um, fuck off, Cloud. Cloud, Leon, Yuffie, Tifa, and look at what I'm doing. Look at this. Night. Wow. Just wow. You're getting beat up though a lot. Yes, I am. So now Sonic Blade, go. All right, but um, I guess the Lex, uh, the Lexaeus battle that was added in for Final Mix is probably my favorite boss. Battle. Okay, so you got to explain what the hell that is. Just saying. Um, Lexaeus basically he has a power level that constantly increases throughout it. Uh, and that changes up his attacks. You can turn that power around on him, and you can end up uh, hitting him, damaging him. He has the power over Earth. He was one of the organization members that was inside uh, Kingdom Hearts. Cloud, Kingdom. what the fuck are you doing? Uh, he's trying to do Omni Slash. Like, seriously, we, I just saw him like, run around the room for like three times. He's trying to do Omni Slash? Slash? Yeah. Yeah, he was trying to do Omni Slash, but he kind of his AI kind of fucked up. Is that how you do it? Just disorient the enemy out of his sheer confusion and smack him out the head with your giant broadsword thing? All right, but now for the final round, which means Hercules is my um, orb bitch. That's all this is. Does he fight? Uh, he can, but he the main thing is uh, Hercules is the one who will spawn those orbs, which will get Hades out of you know his invincible mode. So what I'm waiting for is hitting for that. Nice. And <laughs> he does this. He punched him, and he's invincible again. So Hercules, please. Yeah, All right. Cheating. And out. And here, have an orb. Here, feel the heat. I don't want to feel the heat. Feel the heat. No. Feel the heat. I'd rather get up on the hydra's back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was that. Was, Feel the heat is one of those phrases that just gets stuck inside your head. And I don't find it as annoying as get up on the Hydra's back, if only because it's James Wood who's voicing this. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize Knuckles was inside the Hades Cup. <laughs> Knuckles is everywhere. When did Knuckles die? <laughs> when did Knuckles what? live? Good point. Is this what happened when he skipped leg day one too many times? Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> His legs just snapped and he just fell down to Hades. Oh no! Well, maybe he made friends with Orin. Question: What do they call this world? Hades or Hell? Um, uh, they just call it the Underworld. Oh, that's lame. Uh, Japanese, it's uh, the Underworld slash Hell. Oh. Underworld slash Hell? Uh, different meanings. Okay. But for the most part, like this, this battle is literally just a cakewalk compared to everything that you had to fucking go through to get to this. I noticed. Oh my! The annoying part also is he's teleporting, so I'm just waiting for him. Okay, invincibility. Guess what? You're out again. Nerd. The orb just flies off into the distance, never to feel the warmth embrace of Hades ever again. Maybe it circumvents. Maybe it's like maybe it's just circumvents the entire underworld. <laughs> I like that final moment of the match. The orb just flies by and kills Hades. That'd be amazing. And here's me accidentally hitting uh, the shield that you can do with Hercules. That's fucking useless. Wait, was that it? Was that literally the shield in that one spot? Yes. What does that do? What does that do? It's supposed to protect you. It's fucking useless. It's not really a point in the game where you literally, I saw you zip around the map three times. Yep. But there we go. That beats Hades. And for your reward, you get the Hades Cup. Too big for you to carry, so you got to hit it into the air. Fuck this thing. Meanwhile, Hades. What the fuck? That's not even cool. He didn't what do you mean? He didn't deserve that. <laughs> but there you go. That defeats the Hades Cup, the ultimate tournament in the game. And for your reward, you get the Hades Cup as a bragging trophy. This is needed to get 100%. Oh, okay. That's the whole reason. Mm.
I was about to say, like, see, I don't think I'm going to be going to a job interview. Like, what's your special, like, what's your most memorable thing? Well, I'm sorry, I got the Hades Cup. Hired. <laughs> but there you go. As a result, that beats all the tournaments. So I'm actually done with the Underworld entirely. Burn, and? burn to the ground. <laughs> I can't. Why? I tried. I tried. But now that we're done with this, um, hmm. Do you think we should go to this new super dungeon, or do you think I should continue with plot? I don't know. It's up to you, really. I mean, I have no control over it. But if I had a choice, I would say go to the super dungeon. Cause All right, so next up, we're going to the super dungeon, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah, I should have said something else. <laughs> That's uh, Afro I mean, Batman, I would P.O. Say Box 1538. Get... <laughs> what? <laughs> I gave you a P.O. Box. Mm. Anyway... See you guys for the Super Dungeon. Bye.